Bonnie Downs Community Association turned 21 this year and I'm so proud of the way that local people in the London Borough of Newham have been working together to build a thriving community where everyone can feel connected, valued and fulfilled. At BDCA we now have over 60 paid members of staff, mostly local people. We also have 158 volunteers who gave a combined total of 6,704 hours of their time, which is equivalent to £72,068 at the London Living Wage. It is my absolute privilege to present this overview of our collective impact throughout 2019. This year, BDCA have continued managing the four local venues that our team previously renovated from dead disused spaces into lively community hubs. The facilities attracted a huge total of 82,124 recorded visits from people of all ages and walks of life. The buildings provided a home for 69 local community groups, including football teams, cricket clubs, faith groups, tuition schools, and exercise and dance classes. In 2019, our team delivered targeted activities for every generation, ranging from children and their parents, young people and elders too. We also ran programmes offering accessible sports, healthy food, poverty support and volunteering opportunities. In total, BDCA delivered 8,579 hours of community activities that were attended by 2,448 unique attendees and achieved 43,980 total attendances. BBCA are passionate about helping people of all ages to build friendships with neighbours from different backgrounds. So we host toddler groups, gardening clubs and a community cafe where people can meet new mates and strengthen their support networks. According to Age UK, all the people in Newham are at an extremely high risk of loneliness, so we have helped to tackle isolation through coffee mornings, outings, lunch clubs, activity afternoons and special events to especially help elders connect to their community. I've always known when I come here I've got friends, I've got me cups of tea regular and my dinner. I would be lonely without the well, definitely. I think this all the project is good for everyone in the community. I enjoy coming here. I can't think of anything else. Exercise is absolutely crucial for our health, but many people here in Newham are physically inactive. BDCA has run a wide range of sports activities to get people moving together and reduce preventable diseases. We have a women's only fitness class, yoga with a crash area, gym and swim sessions for rough sleepers, gender groups for older people, and walking football for veterans. We also partnered with Gems Delights Cafe and grew 250 kilograms of organic vegetables in our garden to help improve local people's diets too. So now I feel lighter, I feel healthier, you know, so it's really helped me massively. I've lost, I, I don't know, something like uh, about almost 20 kilos, so um, yeah, it's all great and I, and I feel so much better. I've been coming here for about two years and I thoroughly enjoy it. And, and, and it's, Give me a new fitness, plus a new enthusiasm f f for football. This year, we were devastated by the tragic loss of another young man who attended our soccer school. We are committed to protecting the safety and well-being of local teenagers through our two youth clubs, BMX coaching sessions and a summer mentoring program to keep kids off the streets we teamed up with community albums to help young people reflect on their experiences of losing cousins and classmates to knife crime and record their own original songs and music videos to share their thoughts with the world.
being involved in the Life Crime Project has really opened my eyes to how much it's just become a normal thing for my year group and how much that really needs to change. It's also showed me that no matter how much we try and shield the younger generations, it still affects them and they're still aware of it, but yet they're mature enough to want to take a proactive role in ending it and it's really given me lots of hope for change in the future. PDCA champions lifelong learning. We believe it's never too late to build new skills and we should all love to learn no matter our age. So we have led educational forest style arts workshops for toddlers and basic computer skills for technophobic elders. We have also offered conversational English, job search support, positive parenting courses, anti-radicalization seminars and domestic abuse awareness workshops. It's good for me because if I, uh, I need uh, English to, to look for a job. Well, I'm learning to use a computer because, as I said, in this day and age where everything is computerized, even to make a simple thing like an appointment with your doctor, you have to use a computer, and so I do not want to be left behind. This year, BDCA were delighted to finally get funding to recruit a volunteer coordinator. So we were able to help new people get involved and give back to their community, including teenagers on work experience, university placement students, job seekers, corporate team work days, mums on maternity leave, retirees and former project users who wanted to pay it forward. We've also been blown away by the generosity of local donors giving food, clothes, toys and money to help our neighbours in need. I would say it is a wonderful thing to do. It gives you confidence, it enables you to sort of meet people of all walks of life and give something back to society. I am uh, pack the food that the other people donate here and uh, give it to users. And uh, sometimes serve the food to the, any people who come here. Well, I actually enjoy everything about volunteering at the food bank. Love meeting people, love meeting lots of different people from lots of different backgrounds. I love the fact that we're able to offer um, most of the time a nice hot meal for people that attend food bank and also the idea that everybody's welcome regardless of their background. I love uh, help other people. Here at BDCA we love to party. We throw annual celebration events to honour our volunteers and find any excuse to dance, laugh and eat together throughout the year. Our interfaith festivals encourage neighbours to try food from across the world and learn about each other's religious beliefs. This year, our community garden hosted a very special event where councillors, police and families affected by knife crime beat weapons seized on the streets into a beautiful sculpture celebrating the transformation of darkness into light. Newham now has the highest rates of homelessness and debt in the entire country. BDCA has increased our provision of free money advice and housing advocacy appointments. We have expanded the New Day Centre for Rough Sleepers. It's now open five days a week across two sites so we can support more vulnerable homeless people in need. We gave out 6,000 free food parcels from our food bank centre in Bonnie Downs Church Hall and have supported children in need through our Growing Strong project to help them thrive despite their tricky home situations. I was totally lost when I came here and they helped me so much. They always have helped me when I needed help. I really, really needed help. It's not very nice if the social stops your money, you see what I mean? Yeah, how can you cope? You can't cope, my darling. And that's why I come here. Where I've been like, on the streets, and I've been on the streets for a long, long, long time, since the age of 16, I'm now 52. These are like one of like, the day centres itself, which help people like us. 
So look what we've achieved together. On behalf of Bonnie Downs Community Association, I want to say a huge thank you to our amazing staff, to our incredible volunteers, to our patient and wise trustees, and also to our partner organisations who've helped fund and work with us to deliver the amazing results that we've had this year. It's been a real privilege for me to see barriers broken down, bringing people together, and also to see people empowered and raising people up. I passionately believe that every single one of us has got a role in changing lives and transforming this community. So spread the word and I'm looking forward to seeing what exciting things we've got in store in 2020. Thank you and God bless you. Hear the pain, empty